Okay, we'll do the press conference for qualifying for round four of the uh, Michelin Le Mans Cup here at the Castellet. And it's a bit of a deja vu. I think we keep seeing you guys. Congratulations. Uh, uh, GT3 and uh, LMP3. We'll do GT3 first for a change. Um, and we have the number 46, Emanuele Bosnelli, um, Ebbing Motors Lamborghini Huracan, GT3. Emmanuel, third pole of 2017. You seem to like the two-hour race poles because you've also got pole in Monza and in Red Bull Ring. So uh, congratulations, a 2.08.602. However, I've got to ask, you did keep us on in suspense with all those uh, track limits. Congratulations, a 2.08.602, which was a good lap. But talk us through what was going through your mind when you were out there and, it, and you get getting these pings for track limits. Well, it was a very, very difficult uh, because we have a lot of problems during the weekend with the car. We have a lot of understeering. We, we did everything we could to, to, to take it away. And actually, we just made some changing yesterday night uh, at the last, uh, and actually we, it works. So we were very lucky in that. And I tried to push very hard in the beginning, and actually I still have a little bit on the understeering. So it takes a few laps to, to get the tires on the right temperature, and then I arrive to, to do the good lap. I mean, it's very difficult to do for me in these tracks a good lap, a perfect lap. So I was maybe doing sector one better than, than the, day, the, the lap after was the second one. So. Uh, but at the end, uh, I mean, I'm happy because I mean, doing pole position is always uh, beautiful. And uh, and actually, then Flicka was really very near me, and uh, just uh, six uh, hundred, I believe. And so, I mean, was uh, very tough, very, 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 very tough uh, qualification. How are you going to approach this afternoon's race, knowing that the Audi is so close to you and uh, Mercedes aren't that far away either? Uh, yes, well, well uh, you know, we, we try to push. I mean, the, I, I believe that the, I mean, the, the, the lap time will be my, much higher uh, because the temperature will raise, I believe. So, uh, and we, we struggle a little bit the tires this morning. So I, I believe that we, we're going to have in the beginning some good laps and then for, for sure the, the time will raise over the 10th and so we, we have to, to, to get to the end of the stint uh, and uh, do not make any mistakes that are the most important things. You seem to like the, uh, as I said the qualifying for the, for the two hour format, which do you prefer the two hour format or the 55 minutes races we had the Road to Le Mans? Ah, uh, well, uh, but Le Mans is Le Mans. I mean, yeah. it's you know, I mean, uh, in Le Mans you could you could I could stay two hours inside. You make it alone, you know. Uh, it's totally different. We cannot say if I prefer this or that. Uh, I mean, normally I prefer long races, so between two to, to twenty-four for sure. But uh, in Le Mans, we can. It's Le Mans. Yeah, of course it is. It's uh, very, exactly. spe very yeah, special. Yeah, unique. Congratulations to you and to the team. Uh, in, Thank you. In pole position for the fourth time this year, the number three DKR Engineering, Norma M30 Nissan, Jean Glorio, 203410, seven tenths faster than the nearest competitor. Congratulations. Um, you made it look pretty easy, but I'm sure it wasn't. As, as Emmanuel said, it's a difficult track. Yes, it is. It is a difficult track. Um, but I had a good run, was very happy. Uh, we did some minor changes uh, on the car after free practice of yesterday. Very happy with that because the uh, car was stable and um, pushed very hard. Second uh, stint was a little bit better, but tried to improve uh, more, but uh, very happy with the result, of course.